Good morning guys. It is a very grey and very gloomy day today here in Sweden. It is the 6th of December and I'm actually talking to you in the morning. I woke up at like 10, 10 to 7 this morning. However, I spent some time cuddling with Gizmo. So I probably didn't get out of bed until like a quarter past something. Uh, so yeah, it's a nice weekend thing cuddling with gizmo uh and then i've been just sitting and stitching all morning well i played a little bit on my ipad before i started stitching i finished off my last hour of the everest base camp challenge uh all of my stitches challenges are from the stitch talk head challenge group um and yeah uh, i finished that one up so that is done i only have one left to finish up and then i've done all the challenges for 2020. you didn't need to do all of the challenges to get like stitchy master or whatever they they call it uh, however, I am a little bit crazy and I really wanted to do that. Uh, we'll see if I have enough time to finish. I think I will. Um, to do, I have the trip around the USA, I think. Or if it's, yeah, the trip around the USA is what I have left. Uh, a little bit of it. But yeah, that is what I've done this morning. I stitched uh, 244 stitches. Uh, on this hour so the Everest uh, challenge is uh, a number of hours per track and this December track because they are uh, one track per month and the December track was eight hours of stitching um, and I've been doing about two hours every day so I put a timer on on my uh, clock and um, I stitch for a full usually i stitch for maybe half an hour 45 minutes and then i feel that i really need to go up and move so then i pause the clock i go up have water stuff like that and then go back and continue stitching um you shouldn't sit for an hour that is actually um christopher's mom is um some kind of nurse doctor slash something no she's she's a uh, midwife i think uh, at least she helps uh, when she wa was working she uh, helped uh, mothers with children kind of looking if they were cold uh, teaching them how to take care of their children and stuff like that um, when they're like a little toddler child uh, and she told me that you should only sit for no longer than 45 minutes and then you should up and move uh, this will reduce kind of toxic the toxicity in your body like we when we eat stuff we do stuff we get toxic things the reason why we sweat for example is to get toxins out of our body and if we sit for a longer period of time uh, it will stagnate uh, but also uh, kind of you want your blood to be flowing regularly and when you sit your blood flow is reduced so you want to up and move on a reg regular 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 but anyhow, I am done with all of those things. We have one thing, thing planned today, uh, probably, and that is go to Model Scandinavia to pick up toothpaste, because we don't have any, uh, and probably my migraine medication. Uh, I haven't thought about this, but my migraines, the reason why they are so uh, uber intense this week is because on Thursday, uh, Friday, I also have my Botox so yeah that's why it is why it is uh, it's like I always have these like a week before my Botox and a, a week before my eye moving I am feeling it a little bit extra but when you put those things at the same time I'm back having those chronic migraines however there's only a couple of days tomorrow I have my my IOV, the new medication, and on Friday, I think it is Friday, I have it in my calendar, I have my um, Botox treatment and then we should be back back to normal again and I should be feeling fine. I'm feeling a little bit better today. 
uh, I think I got a little bit better of sleep, not too much, not too little. Uh, I only was up once tonight, so I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Anyhow, uh, we also most likely are going to get our tree up today. So yay, tree up in up at the Christmas tree. Uh, we also have a Christmas star that we're gonna hang up, um, and some like a little Santa and stuff to put around the apartment it's gonna be christmas in the house yay but yeah good morning guys i hope you have an awesome day it is lunchtime and i have been very very productive after i talked to you i headed straight into the office and edited all of the three vlogs that i uh, have been tailing and um i was very methodical about it so it went pretty fast i uploaded all the clips and then i uh, moved and in moved the clips in to three different events in my final cut pro uh, program then i went through them uh like uh, the third the fourth and the fifth after each other just editing the videos like going through the clips putting them together and then adding the end slate um and i did that for all three videos and i sent all three videos to the compressor and batched uh kind of pushed them out um exported them that's the word uh so that i uh, also, it went really, really fast with my new computer. So it's, it's like, oh, they're done. Yay. Um, and while those was exporting, I was making the new uh, thumbnails. Mm. I kind of made a little bit of a border and stuff on all my thumbnails. So they would be a little bit vlogmasy. Uh, and now I have uploaded all of them, waiting for them to process. So yeah, very efficient. One to one and a half hour went really, really well. So yay. I think Christopher needs to eat lunch before we leave, but then I think we're gonna leave for Mono Scandinavia to pick up my medication. So yeah, so far, a pretty good day. Well guys, it is evening, it is bedtime. Um, I have not been doing that much. I started playing Mario again when I bought my Switch uh, a couple of years ago. I got it with uh, Mario Odyssey, so I've had that game, and I've been playing. Uh, haven't been playing it since I got it. I think I played it a little bit um, because I, I bought my Switch uh, in Spain or in Gran Canaria because I found it for a really good price there. We were there um, December, November, November, I think, uh, a couple of years ago. And um, when we were there, I played it quite a bit, just like handheld. And Mario is much, much better on the telly, that, that I can tell you. So we started it and I've had a lot of fun, uh, just running around trying to find all the moons. Uh, so, so that, it was really good and really fun to do and my migraine's been really bad. Uh, so I kind of just, relaxed i also have been stitching i finished all the stitching for one challenge and i really have very little left with the other it's like 1500 or 2000 stitches left so i should be able to get it done before the end of december uh and then i have done all the challenges throughout the year which is really really fun it's really really great uh and to finish this off well we went and bought sushi also that was our dinner today we took a little walk i uh, went to the recycling place uh the local one with some cardstock and stuff and then uh we went and had sushi and they gave me the wrong sushi so my tummy isn't happy uh they gave me a vegetarian sushi so not a vegan one a vegetarian one and i'm 99 percent sure that they had eggs in it not my kind of sushi you know and eggs in my tummy is not really happy but anyhow so that was uh what uh uh we did then we um 
fought with the TV and the Apple TV for an hour. So uh, we have a Belkin cable to our Apple TV. So when we got the new uh, new uh, Sony TV, we also got a new Apple TV. And we did that because the TV is 4K, so we needed an Apple 4K. And also, we've been needing to upgrade ours, but we haven't because we didn't have a 4K TV. Now we have, so we did. Um, and it has been working pretty good. However, today we talked about it and we kind of want new cables to our new TV, so everything's okay. So we bought some new cables. Apparently, they were not compatible and when we change it uh i think the apple tv got a little stuck in something so we restarted it it didn't work we like did it totally formatted and everything it didn't work uh in the end we changed the hdmi port on the tv and went back to our old cable and now it works so yeah that was an hour that we won't get back <laughs> and then i've been watching news and stitching uh so so that's uh that's the the kind of day so to finish it off we have a question so today's question is coming from joseph and he wonders how do i make mulled wine or glug as we say well Glug is actually a proprietary spice mix, if I'm not totally out there. I know that nowadays there is a lot of different brands of Glug, but the kind of main brand in Sweden is called Glossa, uh, and we just buy it in a bottle. Uh, every year, uh, Blossa has a like a yearly new taste. This year it is mint however i don't drink alcohol so i will not try that because the it only comes in kind of the stronger wine version uh so yeah i buy my alcohol free from the grocery store but it's still blossa so it's still the same brand so then i just take it out of the bottle right now i have red wine I am going to see if I can buy a new one that is white wine and see if that is a little bit better for my head. Um, I think it triggers it just because uh, I'm in between two medications, but it's kind of annoying. So I'm gonna, um, gonna replace it. But I, I have it out of the bottle into a teeny tiny cup and then I warm it in the microwave because I ain't gonna stand by the stove if I don't need to. <laughs> and I only wa warm it for 15 seconds. If you warm it for more than 50 seconds, uh, you kind of boil it over and you have glug in your micro in your complete microwave and none left in the cup. So yeah, that is how I, I have my glug. Uh, very often it is served with uh, almonds without the peel um the little brown outing of an almond if you boil the almond very quickly it will loosen and you can kind of pop it out of it and you just get the white um almonds uh and raisins and you take a uh, little like little teaspoons of raisins and almonds and you put them in the bottom of your uh, cup and then you pour on hot um Glug, and then you let it sip a little bit and you drink and eat, eat eat the warm raisins and the warm almonds i always did that i like almonds however i have become allergic to it in late years and i also like um raisins but they have started to trigger my migraine which because they're berries like wine not berries, uh, grapes. They're little, little grapes. Um, we call them wine grapes in Sweden, basically. But yeah, anyhow. So that is how I drink my glug. Just clean 
in a little mug and just a little like little little uh the glug that we get is very very sweet so it, that's i think why you drink so small cups is because it's super sweet so it's basically wine with spices and sugar a lot of sugar but it's pretty good it's pretty good but yeah i am going to head to bed this camera is starting to get very very heavy that is why i'm moving you around because i have gotten into the habit of putting you on a table or on a bench however i have like open surface just in front of me so there's no place to put you so i have to hold you up and and the camera is quite heavy and so is the new um tripod so yeah but i'm gonna head to bed tomorrow is monday and i'm gonna go back to work um yeah i have moved my medication to today instead so usually i take my medication on monday morning uh but i the first 12 hours after i take the medications i usually have a pretty bad migraine i'm pretty sick uh like migraine is sick after i take the medication so i christopher and i was talking and i was like yeah maybe taking it on sunday instead so when we uh we went shopping for groceries a little bit earlier uh we needed toothpaste <laughs> We had run out completely uh, and uh, pick up some milk and some oil spice like some mm, so that I can do some pumpkin spice uh, spice mix and then um, uh, we also picked up my medication we also went to, to look for me to buy underwear however the local store doesn't have that brand so now i'm gonna have to buy them online <laughs> but yeah um that was kind of our little outing and that was when we went and bought the cables that we no longer can use for a new tv but that happens it happens right now however i'm gonna head to bed so good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite 